Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks have confirmed that a AEW video game is going to be coming out and that look for the end of the year in 2019 for more information to be dropped regarding this video game. Now we're going to do another one of these videos, but I want to look at 10 things an AEW video game needs to beat the WWE 2K franchise. What's up everybody, Toby Sky here, back again with another video. If you guys do enjoy this, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know all your thoughts about this. Smash the like if you like this, and if you're new here and you're just finding this video, well, hit that subscribe button because we got all kinds of videos coming out. So today we're going to look at one of these list website things again. I did one with what culture and the WWE 2K20 and what we should be worried about there. But today I wanted to look at the Sportster because they put out a video with, not a video, a article that says 10 things that the AEW video game needs to compete with the WWE games franchise. Let's get right into it. In 2011, the WWE SVR series became the WWE 2K series, which largely cosmetic change, and it was still developed and produced by THQ and Ukes. However, THQ disillusion and Ukes parting ways could be the opportunity for AEW to release a game-changing wrestling video game. Fans of wrestling video game have been playing what amounts to practically the same game since 2011 change, and the WWE showed no interest in overhauling their game, as it still sells very well. However... Just as AEW has shaken the world of professional wrestling, they can shake up the world of video games by doing these 10 things. Woo! All right. We know that things are going to change. We will see if they can predict the future and what should be here. I will tell you if these are good, bad, or ugly, but let's get into it. First off, make a strong sing player campaign. Okay, did you not proofread this article? Like, how do you get sing player? Okay, anyway, for years, the WWK has got the Mark Career Mode, which is single-player campaign akin to story mode. The 2K have tried different forms of single-player campaigns, ranging from players taking a created wrestler or a wrestler of his or her choice to the top of the WWE to controversial showcase mode. Controversial? Excuse me? All right, that's not... I don't know. All right. While the My Career Mode has seen improvements over the years, it's still far from perfect. For an AEW video game to overtake the WWE, a strong, unique single-player campaign is a must. I agree. This is uh, nothing new. You need to have a cool single-player story mode. Uh, one of the things I would like to see, even if they took like the impact approach, which is similar to the My Career approach, I don't know that I want that. What I want is a road to WrestleMania type story from No Mercy. I think No Mercy got it perfect because I really like the branching paths. So you would play as a certain superstar, a certain character, and then what you would do is you would go down a title path. So let's say you pick a title, now, AEW, I don't know if they'd do it that way or whatever. They, anyway, you could do it anyway. But the way that it worked in No Mercy is you have the title path. You decide if you're the champion or the challenger. If you're the champion, it takes you down a path. If you're somebody that's not the champion, it takes you down another path. And then you play out these stories. And then the choices that you make, the matches you win and lose, uh, it branches off in different paths. So you see exactly what path you're taking. And then if you want, you can come back, play the same story, but branch it off differently. That's something that I would really like to see. And I'm... Um, Agreeing with you on this. Make a cool single player story. We'll make it a very awesome thing. So there you go. Number nine, quality of wrestlers over quantity. Every year, WWE hypes up the size of the roster. Bigger and bigger every year. More legends, more NXT stars, blah, blah, blah. However, they seem to focus on more than just to include as many superstars as possible rather than making each wrestler feel unique to beat the W2K. An AEW game should no doubt include most of the wrestlers who have appeared in the new promotion, but the game should focus on the quality of each playable wrestler rather than trying to stuff as many wrestlers as possible on the roster. And this is something I agree with. Again, going back to No Mercy, I just hearkened on that because it's just the game that I love and it's one of my favorite games of all time. So if they could just make it feel unique, even like WCW NWO Revenge, probably my favorite, just because every wrestler in that game felt unique. Like Goldberg felt awesome. Raven felt awesome. Rey Mysterio. Like just think of like the range of different like, you got Goldberg, Raven, Rey Mysterio, Hogan, Nash, Hall. Like, all of them, you played as them, they all felt different. And that's something that I really do want to see. Yes, they do have unique moves in the WWE 2K franchise. And I think that there is uniqueness to a lot of the characters. But some of it just doesn't feel right. So I feel like, don't try and stuff everybody in the game, but get the ones that are right. Because I would not want to see, like, a TNA Impact video game scenario where we had a limited roster, but then it felt like 
everybody had a lot of the same moves, which wasn't a good look. I didn't really like that. So hopefully they can get it right. And making it right would be doing it like this. Okay. On the next one. Number eight, avoid ukes. All right. Let's read what they're saying here. Like many other wrestling promotions, AEW seems more than willing to take wrestlers or backstage workers who have left WWE and give them a new home. However, while there have seen success with many former WWE workers in their midst, they should avoid Ukes. While Ukes has parted ways with the WWE, it would be undoubtedly a great way to stick it to WWE to get Ukes to work on the AEW game instead of making potential fans of AEW game leery as seeing Ukes' involvement might make them think that the game is too similar to 2K games even before picking it up. Okay, so they weren't necessarily saying that Ukes is bad but they're saying that people will see this and think oh it's just another 2k game which i don't think would be the case if they could put out gameplay and just showcase the new stuff they're doing ukes is determined to make a good wrestling game and they put out a whole press thing saying that we're tired of the same old same old with 2k and we want to do something revolutionary and something new and i think ukes is actually the way to go i actually think that ukes would be the way to go they can push forward what they have. Nothing has been successful. You think of like all the wrestling games that have ever come out. Ukes has been a staple who've made games that have actually worked. From Wrestle Kingdom to the SmackDown series, Ukes has been doing it. So I think you get Ukes aboard, it'll be fantastic. So don't avoid Ukes. Work with Ukes. Next one, work with Spike Chunsoft. So this one I don't think I agree with on number seven. While Ukes would not be an ideal partner, Spike might be in August... They put the Fire Pro Wrestling World game. They've worked with AEW and Kenny Omega. Uh, they've been working with Fire Pro Series for two decades. Experience talent. Bring AEW, blah, blah, blah. So, honestly, I think that Spike Chunsoft is better with their New Japan Pro Wrestling partnership and continuing to do what they're doing over there because... Fire Pro is that niche and they have their own built-in stuff where like they don't need the AEW license. I think it would actually be a step down for AEW to go with the Fire Pro series because it's not something completely different. It's just like another in the Fire Pro series where right now with Fire Pro, you can just get downloadable stuff. Like I can go on to the Fire Pro network and I can download AEW ring. I can download wrestling. I can do all that. So I don't necessarily really want to see a Fire Pro AEW game. That's not something that I want to see. Because we can already pretty much do that with the way it is. I love the Fire Pro games just the way they are. And working with New Japan and Stardom, they have a partnership as well. I think that's the route that they should go is work that way and don't go with AEW. And AEW, I don't think, would benefit there. If it would just be another Fire Pro game with AEW wrestlers in it, I don't really want that because that's too much of what we're already getting with the Fire Pro wrestling game. And I don't want to see that. So, no. Do not work with Spike. Not to say that it's bad. I mean, you could somehow work with them and get your wrestlers included in that game. But if you're going to put out a full game that's just like Fire Pro aid, like I don't want to see that. If you put DLC out there with Fire Pro, I still think you need to have a game. And I think Ukes would be the way to go. So I don't agree with that. Fix the hair. This is okay. Excuse me. Work with Spike, fix the hair. Work with Spike, fix the... If you look at the Fire Pro game, you see the graphic style versus this graphic style. You're contradicting yourself. But anyway, this is an issue. Some wrestlers have long hair. Physics don't always work. Look weird textures. And most common complaint is well-known hair. Okay. Have better commentary. Well, we get Jim Ross out of there. We'll have better... I just Actually, I don't really... You know, I'm not a big fan of Jim Ross and AEW. I've said that before in here. Uh, another issue is playing WWE games. Actually, it's a sports games issue, not just a WWE games thing. So, Sportster, you got to get back on. You got to tell every game to fix their commentary. Okay. Limited, generic. Great to hear Jim Ross back on commentary and wrestling games. Excalibur. Knock it out of the park. Okay. Maybe. Sure, have good commentary. Good, but... Improve the commentary on their own product. I guess Golden Boy Excalibur, Tony Giovanni will be on TV. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, it's not more about an AEW commentary. It's about a video game issue. And it's hard. It's really hard to have really good commentary in a, in a, in a sports game, a wrestling game. So we'll see. We'll see. It's just a big sports game genre thing they need to fix. On to the next one. 
Perfect the ports. So they're saying make sure that you have a Nintendo Switch port work and the frame rate works. Make it playable on the Switch. Pretty much is what they're saying. So, yeah. PS4, Xbox One, or going forward, PS5 and whatever the Xbox is going to be. Just make sure that they are on PS4. Like, video games in 2019, 2020, you need to release it on all major platforms immediately. Mobile, maybe. It worked with Fortnite. They got a mobile game that was awesome. But what I would see is the two major consoles, Sony and Microsoft, and then PC at the same time. And if you can do Nintendo Switch at the same time, it would be fantastic. So all those major platforms, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC, do those, and you'll be set. All right. Create a female career mode. Praise and women's evolution. Career mode. Not only would a female single player campaign option be set for an AEW above the WWE games. Uh, names like Brandy, Britt Baker, Awesome Kong, Riho, Teal, B, and many more. Okay. Sure. They have a female my career in WWE games this year. Why not do it there? Uh, again, back to my road to WrestleMania thing. Do the female thing where the women's championship and then you have your own little road there. You do the branching pass. Fine. Cool. All right. I don't know what else to say. Number two, make a general manager mode. Um, yes. 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 I think if they came out the gate, if the AEW Ukes, if it was a Ukes game is what I want. Like, my my game, AEW, Ukes, make it, okay? If they do spike, they could always have the fire promoter type thing in their game. But announce a general manager mode where you're creating your promote. Just run it like fire promoter, but do some tweaks, okay? That's what you need to do. AEW, their promotion versus, like, independent promotions, major promotions, Japan, whatever. Put it all there head-to-head -head with another brand. Make it happen. And the thing is, like, you could just do, like I said... Like Fire Promoter is. You have all these other brands that are out there, all these promotions out there, and then you're just competing to make yours the top. Make a general manager mode. People want it. Put it in your game. People will love it. And number one, revive the AKI engine. And again, I love me some No Mercy, but I don't know if they can revive the AKI engine. I don't know if that's a thing. If they could... I mean, I know that Kenny Omega, as says here, Kenny Omega wants to bring back the AKI engine. It's been a thing, but I don't really know what the rules, legalities, where the engine went, what happened to it, and what's going on there. I would love to see that. If they could do the AKI engine, uh, I don't know if Ukes would be the people that do it. Maybe they could. I don't know. I don't know. But I would love to see that engine because that was such a great engine. And Have you seen the mods out there? Have you seen the mods out there? There's so many great mods. For AKI and the WWE No Mercy game. So, I don't know. I would love to see that happen, but will it happen? I don't know. That's the number one on the list is revive the AKI. This is kind of a contradicting list because you're like, work with Spike. Don't work with Ukes. Make the AKI game. Like, those are three completely different games. Like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Well, there you have it. The list is over. Was it a good list? I don't think it was as bad as the What Culture one, but I will say that it still needs some improvement here. Uh, yes, I would love for them to do the AKI engine. Yes, fix the hair. Yes, make a cr awesome single-player story mode. Yes, all those things are great. They're all great. But we have to pick one way to do it, and you can't go with Spike, not AKI, not Ukes. What I, the list is just kind of off. What I would like to see is a high-quality game. If they could get the AKI engine, that would be ideal. Will they? Probably not. If Ukes does it, I think that's their best chance of succeeding with an AEW video game is to have Ukes make it and then going forward, have a cool single player story, have a general manager mode. And I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about an AEW video game. What would you like to see? What would you not like to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash like if you enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Smash subscribe. And as always, I'm Tony Pete's Guy. We will see you in another video.